Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mid Pokemaster here today with another APA video. Today this is APA Playoffs versus JV Coach of the Atlanta Victinis. So before we get any further, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell in the top right corner if you want a notification whenever we upload. So we are back to the original first team that we drafted. In this season of APA, you you know we drafted three teams. And instead of the season before where we did this, you is before I can't talk today. Before you like you guys look at all your mods, like build a team based around all the mods you drafted. But this we just so that was way too unfair last time. So we just got to you know you just picked one of your drafts. Unfortunately, we are up against JV, who is one of the best coaches in the competition, and he destroyed us last time with this exact team. I believe it was this team he fought us with. I'm pretty sure it was. Wasn't he our week seven? He wasn't, he beat us. But this time we have a different team to go up against this. And our matchup still is not much better. He just has an absolutely amazing team. So, we've already told you guys our good looks have fun. We're on the laptop today. I am still on spring break. So hopefully, you know, we can pick up a dub here on, you know, a laptop week. So, we won pretty, we won against D-Ray last week. So hopefully, you know, we can keep up that winning streak and make it, you know, just win the championship. So we're leading Zapdos just because he doesn't deal with it the best. He's going to lead his boy, Dragapult. If he stays in in Draco's turn one... Uh-oh. Lan, please don't be like this. There's no way he stays in here and just clicks Draco turn one, right? I'm just calling that. He's going to click U-turn. He hard switches. He's gonna go hard Magnazone. That's perfectly fine. I clicked U-turn, you know, obviously predicting this to come in and not having heat wave for it. Cause I still needed this to be somewhat defensive. At this point, can't I just go out into my Con Kelder? I guess I could have gone hard Zygarde. But I wanted to proc this flame orb and knock off really just facade into any mon does a lot of damage. Facade into Mach Punch kills this. So I'm going for it. Actually, I should have thought about if Dragpool was coming in. Knock off was a completely free play here. Did I click knock off or did I click facade? I think I clicked facade, but I should have clicked knock off. We'll see. If he goes hard drag pull on a conk, he's crazy anyways. NASCAR. That's the mandibus. I clicked facade, so this did work out. So it was in right under 50. So that shows he's pretty defensive. But I can just click it again. I have no reason not to. Dragapult can't kill me in one. So, he's gonna foul play. Do I get to kill this? Yes, I do because I can always mock punch the next turn if I don't kill. That's a dead man to buzz. That's a big just defensive threat out of the way. Conk. Kills Mandibuzz. So he's gonna go Prim, which I don't switch into. Like, we just don't have a switch into this mod. So, what mod's my least important one here? I still like Conk. Zapdos is super nice. Is, is it the boy? I feel like it actually might be Alakazam. Alakazam is just not the greatest here. It was just kind of a mon I threw on. So you click Surf. So he's not Life Orb. But now we can just get some damage off with Psychic. Psychic is super free here. 
Like he has some Magnezone, but still that's unrecoverable chip that he's not gonna wanna deal with. So this is gonna be a lot of damage off on whatever comes in. And like I said, I didn't necessarily need Alakazam here. And we'll be back. And we are back. We already reconnected very fast. I'm clicking Psychic like I did last time. We are perfectly recre recreated. That was very fast. I'm clicking Psychic. He can kill me here. So Prim is going to kill my Alakazam. Which I will take. Unfortunately, I did not see how much he was at. I feel like I can go Scolipede pretty freely here. Or how much does Zygarde do? Zygarde does so much damage. Even though I'm very defensive, it does so much damage. Because how much is he at? He's at 40 something. And I should kill here. I should kill here. Because he also has to be scared of like any sort of like offensive investment I have, even though I'm very defensive. Did he live? He lived on one. That sucks. That is awful. That is awful. I can't believe it just lived. I can't believe it just lived. That was like a one HP live. If I clicked Psy Shock, we would have been good, so that was a misplay on my part, but Zygarde kills the Prim. Now I just need to get a rest up on, like, Bulu. That's really all I can do. Man, that sucks. Me not clicking Psy Shock is going to screw us over quite a bit. So he's going to go Dragapult. I have no idea what his set is, but I'm forced to go Aromatisse. I am forced to go Aromatisse here. I need Zygarde. I don't know what he wants to do here. There's not much I can stop. You know, nothing I really can do to stop whatever he wants to do. I have my dog Raylan next to me. She's helping out. He clicks U-turn. So that is around 22. Does that show if he's like physically offensive? Yeah, that shows he's very physically offensive. Yeah, that's max stack adamant. I'm going to click protect here. What else can I click? I can't really click anything else. I want to see what he locked himself into. If he's like, you know, specs or scarf. Clicks flash cannon. Yeah, no reason not to. Magnazone. Yeah, that just murders me. Shouldn't hit Zapdos too hard. Let me see if it's analytic actually. That'll do a little bit more. Still clicks Flash Cannon. 197 to 146. That did 51. Yeah. I'm just going to click Hurricane here. He doesn't really have the best switches to this. Like, I mean, he has a Magnezone right in front of me. 
but I can try to 1v1 this, and he also has to be afraid of Heat Wave. That's how I see this. He has to be very afraid of Heat Wave. Or he doesn't. So that did 10%. So that's like a Salt Vest. Or close to it. So then we see the Volt Switch. I dropped him around to about 80. He's gonna go Terrakion. And now this is where I am sacking Terrakion. Not Terrakion, Con Kelder. I don't know what he's gonna click here. But not much I can do. I'm forced to go conk. If I can find a way to get my Sculpeed in, it can win. But also, it's the problem with finding a way to get it in. And setting up an SD. Clicks Rock Blast. Fair enough. I didn't see how much I was at before. Mock Punch does a lot to this Mon. So I don't fully expect him letting me get that damage off and putting it in range of a Squillipede. So I'm just gonna Facade. So he's just gonna close combat me. Tracheon kills. Conk. How much does Zygarde take from a non-life orb close combat? Way too much. He's gonna go to minus one with his Terrakion. There's no way he he's gonna have to let me kill him here. He's gonna have to let me kill him here. He doesn't have a switch into this mon. If he switches out here, okay, we're fine. As long as he's not Sash. He's Sash. So that'll be a GG to JV. Unless he does not get more than two hits. Oop, oop. I still think this is a GG. I don't see how we break through this team. I'm gonna click P jab. At least it's a dead track. Scolipede kills track. I get one more hit off, which is nice. I still might be able to win the Zygarde if I can rest up on something. Ham sandwich. That is the Dragapult, obviously. I'm just gonna Earthquake as I go down here. If he like DDs or something, he's insane. But I still have a full health aromatis. That's how I see this. I need to get rid of this Dragapult. But Zygarde might be able to win this. It might not be able to. Dragapult might not be able to break my Zygarde if it's physically offensive. So he's max attack adamant dragon darts. Dragon darts, not dragon dance. Please tell me that's just him thinking and not land. No, dragon darts does a lot. We would not be able to lift two hits. I really hope that's just him thinking. So I guess if I SD there as he does anything but attack me, 
I'm in a very good like winning position. Yeah, I'd be in a really good position. Yeah, I think this is just land being land. Yeah, this is being very annoying. I'll cut to whenever something happens. Wait, it, it moved. He's letting me kill Bulu. I think, but I clicked EQ, didn't I? Because I did the most damage. Slowly dies the life orb. Rip. I thought I clicked Poison Jab for a second and I was about to start freaking out. So we see leftovers. Raylan, what are you barking about? So I can just go Zapdos here. I'm clicking Roost. I have to click Roost. Or I have to go for the Hurricane Confusion on the Magna Zone. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I have to try to get it twice. Or I could have U-turned out into Zygarde, opposite the track. Can I get the Hurricane Confusion? I do not get it. He's gonna heal back up. I'm gonna roost. I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Try attack. Dude. You're kidding. Bro. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. What do I do here? I I'm doing what I can. Magna Zone. Kill Zapdos. I have to go out into my Zygarde. I'm clicking Thousand Arrows. Or do I try to predict the Tapu Bulu coming in? You know what? Screw it. I'm clicking Sludge Wave. If he stays in, good for him. Depending on his Bulu set, he's gonna need Magna Zone to break my Zygarde. I'm gonna my Zygarde, my Aromatis. He stays in, he gets prediction. GG to my boy JV. And that'll be the end of the game. So he's just gonna kill, kill us with Flash Cannon here. This game was a game. I did not play a good, JV played well. You know, I probably didn't need to make that prediction with Sledge Wave, but I was just going to go for it, because why not? I feel like this should kill us in one, if not, Magna Zone is not very good. That did not kill us. I cannot believe that. So, that'll be 10%. We're going to get our leftovers back, and we're just going to click Moonblast. GG to JV, that's the end of our APA season. We are now down to just ICP. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.